difference across the hook. Let both ends hang. That one needs to come up a little bit. Well, I'm thinking we're going to roll on its back. Oh, okay. So. To get the underneath? Yeah, so you can do the underneath first. All right. Okay, what do you want to do? Well, I'm going to bone me down, but don't let my hook hit the cap. Okay. And we'll take the straps off. That way I can get out of the way. And then we can, I think we'll just roll it back by hand. All right. Sounds good. We might get some help.
pretty good. Wow. Too bad they're not a little bit longer. What we could do is we kind of work it forward. It up. Yeah. You can shoot your side first. There you go. That's good enough. That way it didn't roll off the back side. Yeah. That's perfect. That's perfect. Look at that. Did you, uh, looks like you get some more on our foot in the screen now. Yeah, I'm going to see how the blaster works on it. Maybe it'll just blast it right off. Did you, did you order your cab mount? Not yet. I'm going to order it. I should have ordered it this morning, but... I'm going to order it when I get home. I want to do some research, see who's got the good ones. Yeah. Well, you can always put a tarp over it for the night. Yeah. Get done with it. Because I'm probably going to have to get some more sand. All right, guys, there it is. Check it out. That is so cool. My brother had the idea of putting it on these drainage pipes. And uh, it worked out awesome. So I know what I'm going to be doing for the next couple hours. Let's knock it out. All right, guys, let's do this.
I'm gonna take a break. Whew. It's, uh, I don't know if you guys can see me, but it's working out. It's just, uh, it's still, look at the sweat dripping out of here. <laughs> I'm gonna rinse those off, rinse off my, rinse everything off and then take a break and reload with another bag. I'll uh, talk to you in a second. Let me get this mask off. But yeah, you can see it right down in the bare metal. Woo! <laughs> All right, guys, I took a break and uh, got some water, rinsed everything off. These were sweaty, really sweat was just dripping out of them like a river so i rinsed them off really good inside and out and i uh, got a different pair of goggles to try rinsed everything off rinsed my head off just got a different shirt to try and uh we're gonna go back at it i'm gonna put another bag in here and maybe we'll just finish the roof get the roof done and then maybe flip it over and start on the front <clears throat> I need to do the underneath, but I really want to get the top and front and back done. The underneath, uh, I'm going to scrape a lot of this undercoating off. And uh, that's just going to take that. I'll do that another day. The sand is taking it off. It just takes longer. And I don't want to waste a bunch of sand trying to get that undercoating off when I can scrape it off and get it off that way. I'm going to focus, save the sand try to save the sand for all the areas that are going to be seen and that are hard to get to because I got three bags left and I think if I use it properly that'll be enough um, so I want to get the top completely blasted because it's got a bunch of holes that we patched last year but I want to go back and get that completely rust free and start over with that so the goal here is to get all the rust off and as much of the paint off as we can. I don't know if I'm going to do the, the rooftop here. I might do that. I'm not sure yet. I'm probably going to do everything. Knowing me, I'll just do every single little spot. And then Darren will come over and help me uh, put some primer on it. So stay tuned. It's looking good. All right, let's keep, let's keep doing it.
All right, guys, it's the next day, and I went and got some more sand, some more coal slag, and we're going to try to get this finished today, hopefully. It's a lot of work. It's messy. And uh, you definitely want to have a really good respirator, eye protection, ear protection. And I kind of doubled up here with some face protection, too. I mean, this stuff is pretty cheap. These were 9 bucks, 10 bucks. This was like ten dollars the mask this is my good mask i didn't want to use it but the other one got pretty dirty yesterday so i'd rather breathe clean air than risk uh you know so we'll, this will come in handy i got uh, another pair of headphones i mean these are six bucks at harbor freight so the other ones can be cleaned out but i picked up a couple pairs that way i can just sw swap them out real quick anyway we're going to get back. We got some more coal slag. It looks like this is slightly different than that. Maybe the grit is slightly different. It said it was, uh, let's see, they got it marked here. I don't know if that's between 60 and 80 grit or what, but on the sign it said between 20 and 40. So I don't know if they had the sign wrong or what, but we're going to give it a shot. Hopefully it'll work as good, if not better than... This stuff, this I got from Tractor Supply. It looks like the same exact bag, but I noticed the color was slightly darker on this one. This one's more of a brownish color. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. Yeah, it's definitely a different color. Uh, this is the stuff I've been using. It's kind of greenish, brownish. So maybe the stuff I got is even harsher, which will probably be good actually i'll see what happens but we're gonna do as much as we can and uh getting down into some of these crevices that we weren't able to get to with the sander coming back and just blasting through there's some rust hiding up in there and there's rust up in here it's really hard to see when you start blasting that stuff starts coming back at you and it starts to you know get all over the face shield so you just have to do what you can and then take a break, rinse off, and get back at it. But we had some pretty good success yesterday. Uh, it was left out overnight. I put a tarp on it, but I forgot to put the magnets on there, and the tarp flew off. So we got a little bit of flash rusting, but not bad. And that's that roof's not a big deal. Um, we can hit this with the DA, smooth that out. I got most of the stuff off of there yesterday. This we really shouldn't have to mess with much. Darren did a lot of work on this back area with the DA sander. And I don't think we're going to have to mess with that much at all. We'll probably have to clean it up pretty good and get all the dust and everything off of it. But really what we're getting after is all this stuff here. Hard to get to with the DA. It's just in these tight crevices up in here. I'm just going to blast the best I can. Check out that airplane up there. He's dropping off some uh, gliders. It's pretty cool. Anyway, we're going to keep blasting. We're going to blast as much as we can. I've got some cab mounts coming from MPD. I'm going to go up there in a couple days and check out their shop. And it's going to be pretty cool. So keep an eye out for that. And we're going to keep moving forward, guys. This truck, the Swamp Dragon... The dragon will live again. We're just going to keep pushing forward. It might take a little time. And uh, it's a challenge. But you know what? It's cool because we're getting to get and see everything that we need to get to as far as a restoration goes. So, yeah, I'm going to probably take these off too at some point. But that little area behind there, we can just hit with the grinder. I didn't want to mess with it right now. I think we can, uh, I'll blast it really good inside and out here. And then we can take them off after we paint and we'll see a perfect line around that hopefully and we'll scribe around it and then we can take them off, clean up behind there if we need to and put them back on. So there's gonna be a lot of work guys, but these cab mounts are gonna come off this one's really bad, really bad. Look at that. And underneath, 
it's crusty so i'm not going to spend too much time blasting these and again when we take these off there'll be some rust back there we'll hit it with the grinder really on today i'm going to try to focus if possible on the areas that are hard to get to i want to get up in here some more you can see yesterday i was able to get up in there a little bit there's a bunch of junk up in there i want to get that cleared out there's a lot of dirt that just kind of settled in mud and rust that's settled in there you can kind of see it it's hard to get to <laughs> you kind of have to get the the nozzle in here and just blast kind of blindly but we're gonna do it all right guys i'm gonna fill up the tank and we're gonna keep at it man hang in there with me guys i appreciate the support let's do this Alright. Alright guys. Let's see. I'm gonna do a quick little test on this. I'm not gonna do the whole thing to see what happens. Make sure we got good pressure out here. Alright guys, it's working. It's got the same issues it was having before where the hopper, you know, you have to adjust the output here. You don't want to adjust it all the way because all the sand will just blow out. You got to get it just barely. You know, it's off right now and just turn it down a little bit, but then it kind of gets clogged. There's some uh, modifications that guys have done to make that airflow bigger down there, but all you got to do is just mess around with it. It'll, it'll open it back up, but... Yeah, it's working. So you can see it was taking the paint off and then the primer, and then now it's right down to the metal. Real smooth, real nice. So this is what we're gonna do to the cab. This was just an example. Um, probably shouldn't hit that, but it's all right. We'll fix it. If they make these too, you can get brand new ones. Um, but yeah, it's working. So look at that's that is pure clean metal right there. Looks good. And uh the sand is blowing that way, so I think we're good to go. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, there's a bunch of gliders up there. <laughs> <laughs> 